This is my unboxing of my June Wantable box. I received a free box from Wantable in exchange for an honest review. I'm going to post it to YouTube and I might also do a written blog post or just do the post the YouTube video on my blog as well. But I think I'm going to do a price breakdown and just a small opinion blog post also. Um, so here's my unboxing video. This is the makeup box for June. Um, I had been getting intimate boxes and I loved them at first and then they were not as great. So I decided to go with a makeup box this time. Um, so let's see what we have. We'll look at the itemized list after because let's not ruin the surprise. We've missed your smiling face, and then it says packed especially for me. I'm assuming it's extra special because I'm a blogger and they want me to say nice things. So it had extra nice foamy packaging. I see right off the bat that I got Vincent Longo, which I was hoping to get. It's pressed powder in golden banana which I'm hoping is a fair color because you, they have a pretty good customization um, and I have down that I'm pretty fair. I was hoping to get, excuse me while I open this, I was hoping to get Vincent Longo. It's like half blush, half bronzer and it was really cute and my friend got it but I have down that I don't want bronzer, so I think that's why I got it. So this looks like it would be a pretty good match. It looks almost identical to the It Cosmetics foundation that I have. <clears throat> so, we have that. Then I see that we have Color Queen Mirabella um, in Titan and Hope. And I'm assuming this is eyeshadow. Hold on one second again. So, you pop the top and there's a little mirror inside. There's no application brush or anything that I can see. And there's a very pretty blue that I wouldn't wear for eyeshadow. It reminds me of the new Urban Decay electric palette. And then there's this color, which is really pretty. I'd wear that on my lid, and I'd wear this maybe on the inner corners or as an eyeliner. So that's cool. Not something that I'd wear every day, but cool nonetheless. Then we have what appears to be an eyebrow pencil or eyeliner. Universal eyebrow pencil. It is a little, if I can show you, it looks to be a little too dark for me. I have one from Lancome that I've had for like six years and it's awesome. I use it so rarely too. This I have no idea what it is. It's packaged quite nicely. Oh, it looks like a face mask of some sort. So it again. I need to get a stand for my iPad bed. It's from some company that I've never heard of called Elise Bright Beautiful Skin. And it's a two pack of face masks, which I like, but I don't love. So it says you leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. They're supposed to be all natural ingredients, help to protect against free radicals, etc. So now let's look at the price breakdown. So basically the only item that I'm thrilled about is the Vincent Longo and I'm not even really thrilled about that because I have it cosmetics, the exact same thing. The eyeshadow's cool, but I don't wear those colors. So anyways, um, the Elise 2-pack mask, Illuminous Hydrating Face Mask is $30. That makes up a pretty decent amount of the box and I've never even heard of them. 
Mirabella Color Queen Shadow Duo Titan and Hope, thirty dollars. So we're already at sixty bucks. Ofra Universal Eyebrow Eyeliner, one, ten dollars, seventy bucks. Vincent Longo Pressed Face Powder, twenty eight dollars. So what were ninety eight bucks is the total for this box, which I think. For a one-time box is 40 bucks, otherwise it's 25. And the Vincent Longo supposedly has real silk. If I can get it to show up for you guys. It's not gonna work. But it says that it triple milling the powder and using real silk fibers, the compact is great for touching up your makeup on the go. So, that's my June Montable makeup box. Hope you enjoyed my unboxing. The baby is awake now, so I must go. See you all real soon. Have a great weekend.